Hey everybody, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. This is Jackie from Island Girl Tarot and Sacred Journeys. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing awesome. Happy Sunday and welcome to our space here in the Island Girl Tarot. Good morning, good morning, come on in. Bring your coffee, bring your tea. Let's have a drink together. Hey Katie girl, good morning, good morning. How are you? Come on in. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and call in our angels and our energies. Oh, here it's good night. You're okay. Well, I'm so glad that you joined us. Are you where are you at? Where it's evening time? Come on in and let's bring in angels and everyone that hey Wayne. Oh my gosh. Wow, we got the party going today. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm so excited. Great. Oh, good job. Good job. It's a beautiful day. Thank you, angels. You're in India. Okay, well, come on in. India, Washington, and everywhere in between. We're calling in all our angels of love and light. Let us have a beautiful day and a beautiful evening. So maybe this can be your reading for tomorrow, okay, if you're in India. So come on in, angels, can you please come and bless us, bless our time today? We're asking that everything that's for our highest and best would come and just wash away anything that doesn't serve us, wash away anything that doesn't serve you. Let's wash away any pain and sorrow and let's go ahead and just create the most beautiful space for wisdom, yes. For this coming week, may you feel refreshed. May you have wisdom. And we're asking for all your spirit guides and ancestors and all of my spirit guides and ancestors to come and just wash over us with wisdom and peace and anything and everything we need. May it be here even now to give us just what we need to step into our most highest and most beautiful, powerful self. And so it is, and so it is. Yes. All right. So let's see what our cards, I'm gonna start out with, this is the Shamanic Healing deck, and I really enjoy this deck. So let's go ahead and see what it wants to say to us. This is gonna be a weekly overview. You can take it for today, and it's kinda of just gonna be the weekly overview. And, you know, I was doing the elemental breakdown. I'm not sure if anybody really grabs that or not, so I'm just gonna do a weekly overview. I'm not gonna do the breakdown today. That's what it feels best to do. So, if you do prefer the overview broken down by elements, let me know, okay? But if it doesn't matter, then I won't do it. Because it doesn't feel like there's anything really significant about that. So, we're just going to do a weekly overview for the collective. The collective that meets here in this room, Island Girl Tarot. And go ahead and send up your intentions. The intention is for all of us to get the best message for all of us that resonates with the majority of us. So Spirit, what do you want to show us for the week coming up this week? Please. Okay, that wants to pop. I need my glasses. <laughs> need my glasses. Oh, struggle. Okay, we don't like that. Spirit, let's get another one. I'll read the meaning. But there may be some challenges coming up this week. So remember, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking, make sure that you remember struggle is just part of the human experience. And every struggle might have, oh, healing energy. Okay, so yes, that's what I was kind of getting ready to say is if there is something happening where you're feeling like you're in a struggle, it's really just pointing something that may need some adjustment, some realignment in our own hearts, okay? So let's see. Let's read these and see what it says. Hello. Hi, hi. Yes, thank you, Leaky. So let's read the struggle card. It's not my favorite, I'm going to just say, but let's see what it says. This is from the Healing Oracle, Shamanic Oracle. Struggle is part of life. Yeah, it, it is. So much so that you probably know people who seem to be constantly attracting one struggle 
after the next. That is their comfort zone. Wow. While struggle is natural, it's natural only so far as it lends itself to a learning lesson and overcoming personal challenges. That's, yeah, wow. Beneath every one of these struggles is the gift of enlightenment. That's right, that's just what I said. The satisfaction of a lesson learned. Use this knowledge as the light of the end of the tunnel. So what lesson is this struggle, whatever's popping up, trying to teach you? What is it trying to show you, illuminate in your heart, your energy field, your belief system? And alternatively, this could also say that if you have been struggling, it's going to bounce back around. So the end of the struggle is coming. That's beautiful. But I also agree that like, if we're having a struggle or a, a trigger or a constant cycle of challenge, it's time to really look inside, like what's going on? What, what do I need to see here? Because everything is a life lesson. And so again, with energetic healing, if there's something going on, it again, receiving healing, it's time to ask for help. It's time to receive the healing, excuse me, from Gaia, from source, you know, whatever is calling you spirit source, uh, creator, Jesus, ascended masters, whoever you call upon, if there's struggles and challenges in your life, it's time to truly tap in and say, okay, what's going on? I get it. I get it. I get it. There's somebody trying to speak to me or show me something, right? And it's okay. We all have things that we're trying to shed, whether it's a mindset or a heartache or a energetic something that we were entrained with. It's okay to say, hey, you know what? This doesn't work for me anymore. I'm kind of tired of this. What can I do or be to shift this pattern of my reality? And it's, it can really be as simple as that. And if you require more support, if you're doing the work and something's not shifting, reach out to me because I can, that's my specialty is doing uh, energetic healing, inner child healing and integration. And yeah, so if this resonates with you and you need some more support, reach out, okay? So that, now I've grabbed the red deck. I'm already shuffling. Let's see what this deck wants to speak to us. This is a weekly overview, and it could also be for today, starting today into the week. Okay, this one's to pop. <gasps> Family, looky, looky, looky. For, did I get excited or what? I don't know why, but four of rods, the family card, the happy family. Look at that. The house on the hill. Oh my God. That's such a beautiful card to me because look, there, there's nobody in this one, but normally there's, you can see the family and they're, they're walking through like the wedding thing, but this is just a beautiful promise of family. Yeah. So there may be actually some struggles in family since the struggle card came up. So let's talk about this. What else do we need to know? Oh yeah, Knight of Cups reversed. So you may be having some kind of uh, family struggle. There may be like a, I'm sorry, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying, okay? I'm not predicting, but it might be where you might notice in the King of Rods, okay, the King of Rods reversed. You may be having a situation with family, could be with a fire sign specifically, where there's not, there's not reciprocity, they're not offering you love, they're not offering you anything. They might just be kind of like stringing you along, but they're not really coming forward to give you the four of rods that you're hoping for. And again, the four of rods is the family, the marriage card, the happy, truly, it's a relationship that's profound, deep, but there's something going on here where these are both in reverse, so there's not a giving of love. The cup of love is not being offered. And this is specifically from the king of rods. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And that's where the struggle lies. Where you are going to have to face something in your reality, in your heart space, where there's a... There's something going on in the family, and this could be, it doesn't have to be lovers. It could be literal family, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your kids, your uncle, whoever, you know what I mean? Oh, you're a Leo? All right. Oh, you're with a Leo. 
So be on the lookout where there may be something going on where it's not really, um, it's not really the give and take that you're hoping for because look, with these two guys in reverse, there's not an offering of love. And so you might have to come to terms with that as far as struggling. How much energy are you putting into something? Oh, it's your mom. Wow. How much energy are you putting into something with nothing in return or vice versa? Are you interacting with someone that's pouring out their heart to you and they're asking you to connect but you don't want to? Are you able to just say what you have to say instead of just putting them on hold? Because that's not fair to anyone, to be honest. If you if you don't want to interact with someone, it's, it's really more uh, of a kindness to be honest with that person, okay? Because nobody wants to be put on hold. That's just, that really is, to me, it's I find it disrespectful, and it's, an, it's just like, just be honest, so everybody knows that it's not gonna work out, it's time to move on, make peace. You don't have to be ugly or mean about it. Just say, hey, you know what? I know that you care a lot about me, and I care about you as well. However, there's something about this relationship that doesn't feel like it, you know, whatever, in this 10 seconds, in this 10 seconds, it's just not working out and maybe we can put it on hold or pause or maybe we both need to do some work. I don't know. But be honest. If you're keeping somebody on hold, please don't do that because that's not kind. And vice versa, allow yourself, if you're the one that feels like you're the one putting in too much energy into a relationship that is just not happening, Maybe take a step back and really pray and release that person. Release the situation with kindness and love and be understanding like, okay, yeah, maybe it's just not meant to be and, and that's okay. And even with family, like your mom, Leaky, it's, it can be difficult because mom and daughter, mom and son relationships, they're so, yeah, see, look, look again, six of rods reversed. It's not, this just doesn't feel like it's, um, there's a lack of confidence because the six of rods upright is talking about being victorious but there's just a lack of victory here a lack of confidence and maybe they even have a lack of confidence telling you how they feel wow that's deep so let's just do a prayer about this you know whether it's you or the other side because we want to be able to have conversations around things without taking everything personally. You know what I mean? If we can rise up and ascend as the observer, and maybe there's just too much water gone under the bridge. Maybe there's just too much baggage. I don't know. And everybody has to do their own work. So whoever this resonates with, let's just pray, okay? especially if it's family, like your mom and dad, sister, brother, whatever, it's hard not to take it personally. And I totally get it. I totally get that. And it's sometimes we're just in different vibrations. We're just different energies. And maybe there's just a difficulty overcoming the past. So let's just pray now, if that's okay. So spirit, spirit, ancestors, everybody that's here that resonates with this storyline of there's a desire for relationships to be reconciled, to be coming together, but there just isn't. Either there's just not the reciprocity, there's not the authenticity, there's not the ability to communicate. First of all, I'm asking for peace for everybody involved. I'm asking for peace and a release of anxiety. I feel like there's anxiety here. I feel a level of anxiety about being able to speak their truth. Whoever this applies to, I'm asking that whew, there would be a level of peace wash over this situation. And that they would be able to really truly step into knowing that it's all okay. And there's nothing wrong. Oh, now I feel sadness, a deep sadness. Just an acknowledgement of, yes, we would love for this relationship to be something beautiful, but for right now, in this 10 seconds, 
There are so many obstacles in the way that need to be looked at and addressed individually. And we ask for angels and healing, the power of love and kindness to wash over the pain and sorrow and anger, the guilt, shame, blame, all those games that happen in the body, in the human level. I'm asking for healing of those things. That there would be no more trigger and no more trauma. If, there, if there's trauma, that they would be able to express that in a whatever way is beneficial. And I'm asking for all the parties to step back and just let go and understand that maybe just now is not the right time. It doesn't mean forever. It just means maybe now is not the right time. And I'm asking for universal love and light, the cosmic heart, to wash over everyone involved and release the anxiety, guilt, obligation, and let all of us be at home with ourselves and releasing everyone involved from any expectations, any perceived obligations of being family, being friends, being partners, whatever that looks like. And let us all come back to ourselves and knowing that the only one that we can really truly control is ourselves and if we're trying to control other people and their reactions hi releasing and letting go of any type of trying to control anyone manipulate anyone having them receive our love or give love or whatever that is let it go let it go let it go and allow ourselves to be free of anything other than divine love and light and may we step into just the beauty of oneness and release the struggle of whatever that is. So we're asking for healing even now, the deepest, deepest core wounds that deal with family, that deal with isolation, abandonment, rejection, abuse, or I'm asking for healing of the deepest core wounds. And I'm asking for forgiveness, release, compassion, and grace. Maybe y'all, may we all truly walk in grace. And again, releasing everyone to do their work and their timing as we do our work of healing and walking in grace and divine love and light. And so it is. And so it is. Taking a breath and releasing everything that doesn't serve you anymore and releasing everyone, regardless of who they are, with love and light. And trusting that those who are supposed to be in our reality will be and that those who are not who choose not to be in our reality it's okay and vice versa if we are choosing not to be in someone's reality it's okay it's really all okay self-care just send love and light receive love and light the beautiful flow of grace and so it is. May you all have a beautiful day. Be at peace, my friends. Be at peace. Continue to heal your heart. And know that we are filled with the cosmic love that created the whole universe and everything within it. Yeah. Anyway, so have a beautiful day. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.